Feng Zhu is a history professor at Georgia Gwinnett College outside Atlanta. He's exactly the kind of immigrant we would want in this country. He's educated, he knows English well, and he cares a lot about what's best for the United States, his new country. But Professor Zhu is also a vocal critic of illegal immigration, and for that, he has been attacked. It's a thought crime. Some are calling for him to be fired. One lawmaker in Georgia even voiced plans to write to his college to voice her, quote, concerns on our Orwellian term. Professor Zhu says he won't back down, though, and he joins us tonight. Professor, thanks very much for coming on. Thank you for having me. Well, first of all, I'm an associate professor with Job Security. My institution has an academic freedom policy. I teach students the difference between legal and illegal immigration. So lumping legal and illegal immigration together is not only wrong, it's deeply offensive. It's like lumping pharmacists and drug dealers together and calling an illegal immigrant a, quote, undocumented immigrant is like calling a drug dealer, quote, an unlicensed pharmacist or a student who intentionally cheated on a test, a, quote, answer key borrower. Okay, so, you know, if I had a professor like you in college, I probably would have learned something and enjoyed it. What do your kids say? What do your students say when you peel off a line like that? Well, most of my students are against illegal immigration. I respect everyone's viewpoints. I tell students, you don't have to believe me. If you want to make a convincing argument, please provide evidence. Do, do you provide evidence to, to back up your positions on immigration? Absolutely. There have been numerous studies. Harvard professor George Borjas had conducted the most in-depth statistical analysis on the negative consequences of illegal immigration on the American economy and how that directly lowers the incomes of high school graduates, those with less than a high school diploma in the United States. Yes. So for the saying what you just said, Backing up an opinion with evidence, in this case by a, a Harvard researcher, some are saying that you should be fired from your job. What does that tell you? Well, first, first of all, I have job security. I'm an associate professor. My institution right. has an academic freedom policy. My perspective is everyone's entitled to their opinions. I don't know this lawmaker. She doesn't represent me. I've never met her. She can say whatever she wants. So she can contact my institution. Apparently, she has some pro-illegal immigration followers. I've gotten a lots and lots of messages. Most of them are overwhelmingly supportive. I have a few that disagree with my views, but I respect everyone's opinions. Everyone has the right to free speech. What, uh, first of all, I, I just want to say again, I'm, I'm so glad that you moved to this country. I admire your bravery. Um, I can't believe there's someone like you still teaching in, a, in an American university. W what do your colleagues think of you? Well, I think most of my colleagues know my anti-illegal immigration activism, and they understand my perspective as a legal immigrant. And I feel like my colleagues respect my views, and I respect their views. <laughs> do you really think they respect your view? I hope you're right. Um, so when you moved to this country and they told you that we had free speech here, you took that very seriously, I can tell. Well, here's what I'll say. I always vote in every single election. I'm a proud Georgia Republican. I vote in the Republican primary, and I'm going to work as hard as I can to help my friend, Congresswoman Karen Handel, get reelected in 2020 in the Georgia 6th District. <laughs> Do you think your colleagues are okay with that, too? Well, it doesn't matter what their opinions are. I respect their views. Some of them live in my district. Some of them don't. I assume more of them are liberal. Some might be moderate. But at the, at the same time, I respect their views, and they understand where I'm coming from, and I think they respect my views. Do, do you think the Democratic Party wants more immigrants like you? Well, I don't know, but I, I'll tell you this. In other countries like Canada, they have a merit-based point system where they give priority to yes. well-educated legal immigrants who have college degrees, who can speak English, and who have job skills that are needed. No country on earth has 12 million illegal immigrants and give birthright citizenship to the children of illegal immigrants. I'm for any program that admits more people like you into this, into this country. But wouldn't you think that Democrats would be happy to have you? I mean, if they're pro-immigrant, I, I imagine you must be getting calls from Democratic lawmakers just thanking you for expressing your opinion. 
Have you? Well, well, I'm a Republican, but I respect a lot of Democratic lawmakers. So I think that uh, for one thing is the United States has 12 million illegal immigrants. No other country on earth has right. 12 million illegal immigrants and gives birthright citizenship to the children of illegal immigrants. So if you look at Canada, you look at Australia, they have a merit-based immigration system that gives right. priority to those with college degrees, English-speaking skills, and uh, job skills that can contribute to their economy. So they have very few illegal immigrants. Of course, if you cared about your country, that would of course, of course you'd have a system like that. It wouldn't even be a question. Professor, thank you. You're welcome on this show anytime. It's great to have you tonight. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me.